How's it going everyone? I'm Matt from Universal Audio, and today we're gonna check out our plugin emulation of Manly's all tube vocal channel strip, The Vox Box. Now, like the name suggests, this channel strip was designed for vocals, but it also sounds just as good on all kinds of other sources, and it's become a favorite for bass, acoustic guitar, and other instruments. The Vox Box features a rich tube preamp, transparent optical compression, a bold Pultec style EQ, and a powerful de-esser and limiter section. Plus, it takes a unique approach to gain staging that lets you dial in a wide range of creative tones from crystal clear to just the right amount of saturation. With all these features in one place, VoxBox is the perfect blend of high-end audio quality and modern convenience. Let's check it out on a few different sources and hear why this channel strip is a favorite of singers, producers, and engineers all over the world. Now let's start by checking out the Vox Box on some rap vocals. Now there's two main ways you can use Vox Box. If you own an Apollo interface, you can load it into the unison insert slot in console to monitor and record through it in real time, just like a real piece of hardware. And it also matches the impedance of the hardware to interact with your mic, just like the real thing. Now for this example, I'm gonna be using it on a pre-recorded track in my DAW. So I'm gonna load the native version into the inserts here. So I already have the sound dialed in here. So first, let's take a listen to the vocal track, and then we'll walk through the plugin to see what each section is doing. Yeah, the threshold set, the odds wanna limit me. Teletronics hooked to my phonics, create the synergy. Locked in, your homeboy rap? Well, I'm not him. Built it from the ground floor up, you just walked in. Now the first controls you're likely to reach for when you open the plugin are the preamp controls on the left side. But one unique thing to know about VoxBox is the compressor actually comes before the preamp in the signal path. Now this has two big benefits. For one, it keeps the noise floor down so you get a quiet signal even with heavy compression, but it also helps keep the transients from pushing the preamp Amp into unwanted saturation and distortion. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the compressor controls first. VoxBox's compressor features a fixed three to one ratio and super simple controls that make it very easy to dial in. Just turn it on and adjust the threshold knob to get the amount of compression that you want. Now there's five pre-selected attack and release times, and this is a passive design, so those attack and release times affect each other in very musical ways. To give you an example of this, I'm gonna turn up the threshold to get a little more compression than I would normally want, and then listen to how the compression gets more transparent and soft as I lengthen the release time and how it gets more punchy as I bring it back in. Yeah, the threshold set, the odds wanna limit me. Teletronics hooked to my phonics, create the synergy. Locked in, your homeboy rap? Well, I'm not him. Built it from the ground floor up. You just walked in, focus. I'm trying to buy a crib by the ocean. So I ain't gotta listen to any more of your bullshit. A dangerous collection of skills, create motion. Now for this vocal track, I'm using the medium fast setting for both the attack and the release. That lets the compressor grab onto the vocals quickly and keep everything parked at the same level. And that medium fast release time keeps things pretty punchy. Now, just so you can hear what the compressor is doing, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the de and the EQ section and then toggle the plugin in and out. And let's hear what that sounds like. Yeah, the threshold set, the odds wanna limit me. Teletronics hooked to my phonics, create the synergy. Locked in, your homeboy rap? Well, I'm not him. Built it from the ground floor up, you just walked in. Next, let's take a look at the preamp controls. And there's two main controls to know about here the input knob and the gain knob. Now the input knob controls the input gain into the plugin and it's pretty similar to any other input control you'd find in other preamps, but the gain knob is a little more nuanced. This actually controls the amount of negative feedback in the preamp, and we're not gonna go too deep into what that means, but this can be thought of as more of a tone control than a volume control. It does affect volume, but it also affects transients, harmonics, and overall color. Now these two knobs are related, so if you raise one, you're probably gonna have to lower the other to compensate. Let's go ahead and take a listen to what it sounds like when I raise that gain knob and then lower the input knob back down to get the same. Volume. Yeah, the threshold set, the odds wanna limit me. Teletronics hooked to my phonics, create the synergy. Locked in, your homeboy rap? Well, I'm not him. Built it from the ground floor up. You just walked in, focus. I'm trying to buy a crib by the ocean, so I ain't gotta listen to any more of your bullshit. A dangerous collection of skills, create motion. Taught me how to sharpen my clarity when the lows hit. Now they wanna get a glimpse at how my brain works. You'll also find some other standard controls here, like a polarity switch, a high pass filter, and then this mic and line switch. Now, if you're using this as a unison insert in console, this lets you switch between mic and line inputs, but it's also really useful when using the plugin in your DAW to be able to drive into the plugin harder and get even more saturation and distortion. Now, this preamp is super versatile and sounds great on its own, even without the compression, EQ, and de -esser. And if you want just the sound of the preamp, check out the Manly Tube Preamp plugin, which is also available for both UAD2 and native. 
Next, let's take a look at the EQ controls. The VoxBox features a passive Pultec style EQ with expanded frequency options that make it super flexible. There's a low peak band that's perfect for beefing things up, a mid dip band with a super wide range that's good for dealing with everything from muddiness to harshness and boxiness, and then a high peak band, which is great for making tracks cut through a mix. This is really where the magic is for vocals, especially in the eight to 16K range. Now let's go ahead and take a listen to what this vocal track sounds like with and without EQ. Yeah, the threshold set, the odds wanna limit me. Teletronics hooked to my phonics, create the synergy. Locked in, your homeboy rap? Well, I'm not him. Built it from the ground floor up. You just walked in, focus. I'm trying to buy a crib by the ocean. So I ain't gotta listen to any more of your bullshit. A dangerous collection of skills, create motion. Now the last control in the EQ section is this transformer switch, which just lets you take the transformer in or out of the signal path for a little more subtle color. Finally, let's check out the de-esser and limiter section. Now the switch lets you choose between four commonly sibilant frequencies or set it to the last position for 10 to one optical limiting. And then use the threshold knob to control the amount of de-essing or limiting that you want. In this case, I'm using the default 9K option, which is smoothing out the vocals in a really nice way, but not taking too much brightness out. Now let's go ahead and switch the meter over to DS so we can see what it's doing, and then I'll take it in and out so you can hear what it sounds like. Yeah, the threshold set, the odds wanna limit me. Teletronics hooked to my phonics, create the synergy. Yeah, the threshold set, the odds wanna limit me. Teletronics hooked to my phonics, create the synergy. Now even though it was designed with vocals in mind, VoxBox sounds great on all kinds of other sources as well and it's become a secret weapon for bass. Part of this is the rich sound of the tube preamp and the optical compression, but the EQ is also set up perfectly for the type of moves you would typically make on a bass track. Now I have a bass track here that's pretty honky and boxy on its own. Let's go ahead and take a listen to that first. Now the mid band on the Vox Box is perfect for dealing with issues like this. So let's go ahead and turn on the EQ and see if we can scoop some of those ugly frequencies out. Now I also ended up adjusting the low and high bands to fill out the bottom end and add some bite. And just like a Pultec EQ, the bands on this EQ are very wide and musical, so they interact with each other in really cool ways, especially when you're doing extreme boosts and cuts like I am here. Now before we move on, let's take a look at some of the other controls I'm using here. I have the gain knob set pretty high, which is squeezing as much color as possible out of the box box. Then I'm doing some pretty heavy compression, which is keeping the bass parked at the same level. But again, since this is an optical compressor, it's pretty transparent. It doesn't sound overly squashed. One of my favorite sources to run through the Vox Box is acoustic guitar. By keeping that gain knob low, we can make the preamp sound beautifully clean. And the EQ and compressor are perfect for bringing out those punchy, sparkly transients in the guitar. Now the Vox Box is one of my favorite plugins to tweak because it has so many settings to get lost in. But there's also a bunch of really useful presets that help you get to your sounds a little bit quicker. So let's check those out. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the preset browser, select the guitar tag, and let's see what we can get for this acoustic guitar track. So I like where this preset is headed. Let's see if we can dial in the EQ and compression settings a little bit more just to polish it up a bit.
Whether you use it on vocals, instruments, or anything else, BoxBox is the perfect tool for adding silky smooth presence, clarity, and weight to your tracks, all without the hassle of having to load multiple plugins. Manly BoxBox is available for individual purchase today or on subscription as part of UAD Spark. And if you own an Apollo interface, you can use it as a unison insert in console to get its beautiful sound in real time without any additional latency. Now for more info, you can check out the product manuals at help.uaudio.com and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more plugin tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.